came in there over the weekend with my husband Terrence. While I was in there, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I was a little drunk and I was intoxicated. And uh, I got on one of the stages over there on the center side. And while I was up there, Terrence was sticking money in my pants and this other gentleman was coming up sticking money in my pants. And one of the bartenders hollered at me and told me to get off stage. And hell, I was too drunk. I was just having a good time. Uh, the bartender came over and he said, you need to get off stage right now. And I was just laughing and Terrence told him to shut the hell up, which he shouldn't have. And that bartender said, uh, you want to bring it outside? And Terrence was going to walk outside with him. But one of the cooks from the bar came over there and and was hollering with the manager saying, get down, get down. He had uh, thrown something at me. I think it was a cheeseburger or something. And it hit me in the face and I got mustard in my eye. Did you go to the doctor? No, I didn't go to the doctor. I just went home and washed it out. Well, I understand. I apologize that that happened, but I do need to do my due diligence and find out. I only have one male bartender. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Have you ever had mustard in your eye? I have not ever had mustard in my eye. I'm going to tell you something. It, that sound painful. It burns like hell. And that cook, I don't know what his name was, but uh, Terrence, he did grab that cook when he threw that hamburger at me. And they took it out in the parking lot. And get this, this is the weirdest part of it all. They was going to go out there and have a conversation with each other, which it was busy in there. It was packed. Right. But they was going to go out there and have a conversation with each other. And that bartender said, he said, hey, come over here. I don't want my manager and all them to see, see us arguing. So they went over there and stood by his car. Uh, apparently, Terrence told me that that man had about seven Chihuahua dogs in his car sitting out there. And I don't know how long his shift is, but that's a long time for seven Chihuahua dogs to be in the back of a car. Who had, who, whose car was it? It was the cook's. I'm just saying, I think it's kind of gross that somebody that handles seven Chihuahua dogs is the one handling the food in the strip club. Yeah. All right, I, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, but that right there, people are allowed to have pets. You know what I mean? I know, I know they're allowed to have pets. You know, Help. I don't want this guy cooking my food because I know he likes his own bottom. Everybody likes their butt, you know? Ma'am, I'm not trying to talk about people wiping their butt. I'm trying to... I'm just saying, I mean, as long as they're hygienic over there, you know... Ma'am, how can you be hygienic with seven chihuahua dogs in the back of your car? Hey there, my name's Sharon Jean. I was going to come over and look at that Harley Davidson you got for sale on Craigslist. I appreciate you letting me come out here and look at it. It's going to be for my husband turns for Christmas. So he looks like you handle him right there, though. You know, my husband turns. He's a hog. Hell, if he gets on this thing, he's gonna be a hog on a hog. <laughs> you mind if I take it for a ride? I think Terrence is gonna love it. You want to trade two horses for this Harley-Davidson? They're lame, but they're sweet. <laughs>